So today I'm gonna be doing a quick run through on all you need to get to do any fan conversion on one of these F-150s, 10th gen. This is a 2002. And so to start off, we're gonna start off with the radiator, uh, the E-fans. Got these on eBay, 100 bucks. I'll be leaving the links for everything I used. And so leave a like and everything, that helps. So these E-fans uh, for the modifications, on this side if you get these exact ones you might have to uh make some type of bracket at the bottom because for some reason it keeps popping out i don't know if you guys can see that so it's supposed to sit in that little latch right there but i gotta fix that and also for this side you need a, you need to get like a little bracket to extend so check that out right there so i got like a little aluminum bar it's because the bracket the actual bracket is sits lower than than where the uh the the uh the shroud goes so the shroud would bolt on, bolt on here but the radiator fan is all the way down there so you need like a little bar i put a bolt and a nut and then i'll hear the the one that i took off and at the very bottom, you're gonna need to cut off the. You need to cut off the uh, the bracket. So all the way at the bottom, it doesn't have anything. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'll be posting some pictures. And for the to be able to control the small one and the big one, I decided to put the small one to the AC compressor and the bigger one to the uh, to the temperature of, of the coolant. So this is where this comes into play. This little housing, it comes with the clamps and it comes with the sensor. You get to choose what sensor with whatever sensor you want. But I went ahead and got me the 180 Fahrenheit. So yeah, 180 Fahrenheit sensor. And so what I recommend you is go to O'Reilly's and buy some of these clamps cut the because the clamps that uh the, the housing comes with are too thin and so it was kind of leaking and it still is i don't know if you guys can see that little puddle of fluid over there so make sure that the cuts are straight on your hose so this is an example of what happens if you don't cut the hose uh correctly so on this side is good but this side was kind of uh, I didn't cut it straight, so it kind of leaks. And uh, for the sensor, all you gotta do is run a wire to the housing, to the frame, or to the battery. But I chose to go to the frame, so it sand down the sand down the frame right there, and then put a bolt. I mean, put a tap self tap, so that whenever the switch on the inside of the sensor go i mean turns on it basically makes the ground work sending signal through here and to the relays so now comes the relays oh before i move on for some reason i went with the 180 because it turns on up until 188 so uh, you might also need to get 180 as well i have i i went with the 190 but it didn't work it will turn on way too high i don't want it to do that so i decided to get a 180 and that worked for the relays i'll be leaving the links for the relays and for these right here and so these are leash electronics relays uh, 70 amps and i went with some 60 fu 60 amp fuses and so what you need to hook up the e-fans go you gotta go to the junkyard you you gotta buy the connectors for the e-fans so you just look for a 2013 2012 f-150 at the junkyard cut off the the connectors that that connect to the e-fans and those are the ones that i used and i went ahead and bought some zero i mean 10 gauge this is 10 gauge wire amazon copper use copper if you can and so i just wire loomed everything so one one fan is hooked up to one relay 
and the other fan is hooked up to the other relay and so depending for example this one right here is for my ac this one turns on when the ac turns on and this one's hooked up to my small one the small one is on the other side and so to be able to make it turn on when the when you turn on the ac uh you gotta run a ground just goes to the ground and the positive you gotta tap into the to the compressor down there and so the connector is, is on this side right here and you use one of those t t splicers or whatever and so that's what i that's what i did i put on some wire loom ran it all the way up here to the positive and so that makes the small fan turn on and so for these other wires uh these are the wires that uh feed the fans so the ground goes to the ground but the positive goes goes to the positives on here and then on this side this is this is what feeds the relays which feeds the fans and so i use four gauge so far no issues but uh, make sure you, you use ofc ofc wire ofc four gauge this is four gauge i might have said 10 gauge but these right here are four gauge these right here are 10 gauge you use the 10 gauge for the e-fans and you use the four gauge or bigger but i use the four gauge uh to power on the relays i mean to feed the actual relays and the fans and everything so these hook up here and then for this one this one turns on when the thermostat uh gets to 188 but like i said for some reason it turns on to 188 but this is a 180 so you might actually want to get one of those as well a 180 just to be safe and so the ground is gonna go to the sensor in the positive i ran it all the way through the to the fuse box over there and so i ran it over here to to one of the fuses over here that turns on whenever i turn on the key and so this was the only one that i could find this one right here which is one two three the third one and i just put the wire through there close that and so now whenever the temperature rises up it activates the big fan which is this one right here and whenever I turn on the AC, it turns on the small fan. So let's go ahead and test it. So right now, right now the truck is hot. The truck is hot, so one of the fan is one of the fans is gonna turn on. This one right here is on, it has a little LED. This is the big fan, which is this one, which is the sensor. And now we're gonna turn on the AC one. So right now it's off. And so whenever you switch on the AC, it turns on. Which is this one over here. So right now, one of them turned off, which is a thermostat. So we're gonna go ahead and check what the temperature is for the coolant. So it should be below like 183, 184. So as you can see, it's at 184. So that's where like it uh, turns off around there. Turn everything off. So also for the electrical, I, I do have an upgraded alternator, so that's why my voltage is at 15 volts but uh if you do the e-fans on a stock electrical make sure you upgrade your alternator at least to like a 200 amp and up because uh 
even though I, I have an upgraded alternator, the voltage, the voltage still drops a little bit, like 0.1, but that's it. And so the truck runs 190s, 195 on a super hot day, 195s. And uh, that's about it. Works good, gives you a little bit of performance, uh, a little bit more power off the, off the, off the line. And that's about it for this e-fan conversion. If you guys have any questions, put them down in the comments.